no, I've seen his dick. It's great. Hi, gang. Rudy Land, once again. Just seeing another film with uh, Jasper Lamar Crab. And uh, the title of the film, Game Night, starring Jason Bateman and the surprisingly still alluring lady from Wedding Crashers. Rachel the brown haired one. Not as La Fisher. Oh, shit. We um, are surrounded by monster trucks <laughs> as we brave this frigid cold. <laughs> so what did you think? Um, I, uh, I really liked this a lot. I, I, um, I was shocked. Um, it's a really good movie. Like, yeah. it is, uh, I mean, you know, the one word that I would say kind of right off the bat is it's fun. It, it's a fun movie. Yes. Uh, this is a movie you really want to go see with a lot of people. And um, it's it's got some really good jokes in it. Yes. There's a lot of physical humor, um, and uh, you know visual humor, obviously. And uh, the gags are good. It's um, surprisingly violent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and well, um, it is it is a rated R film. Yeah, it, it's a rated R. It's it's kind of an action comedy. And uh, one of the biggest things I noticed is all practical effects. So yeah. when there was violence, I was like, uh, oh, uh, uh, shit. Uh, the credits, they didn't have yeah, a real miniature. Yeah, no, they didn't the, have a the real credits, miniature. The they, credits, they obviously, I think, added that in post. Yeah. Otherwise, I think they would have done that. But um, a really great cast, actually. Everyone yeah. in the movie, I I was really surprised. Who they were the all black good. dude? Jay Farrell, the comedian, yeah. I knew I'd seen it um, before. He seemed yeah. really familiar. I've never really seen him in a lot. I guess he had a show. He has a show on like uh, Showtime or something. But um, he he was really good, and yes. uh, it's everyone had like really good chemistry. Even Rachel McAdams and, and Jason Bateman. Her pants were so tight. Every time they showed <laughs> below the waist, I got a little a little more excited than she, I was the last yeah, time. Yeah, she looked good. She looked really good. I think it was the pants. Yeah. But she definitely does. She does stay fit. Let's say. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I've really never seen her in a comedy before. I know she was in Mean Girls. Wedding but Crashers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Wedding Crashers. She yeah, wasn't really yeah. the comedy part of it though. She was yeah. just you know the girl. She was like really funny and enjoyable. Yeah, she was good enough. She plays kind of you know that middle aged. <laughs> uh, well, she's not a mom, but you know. You know, just sort of. Yeah. We're not working professional, young, yeah. middle-aged, young, middle-aged professional. Yeah. And, um, usually Jason Bateman can really fucking irritate me. Seriously? He's, yeah. He's he never really bothered me. He's the same in a lot of movies. And, uh, I, I got that I, from this. Yeah. There was a couple lines. But it was like, good though. It, it was... reminded me of Arrested Development a lot. Right. Except the really violent version yeah. of yeah. Arrested Development. And, um, you know, I do, I do think it's a kind of really a smart script in a lot of ways. I, I think the way it, you know, it kind of diverts you and you're at the beginning, I'm like, oh, okay, I definitely know how this is going to go yeah. and what the reveal is. And then it, it, it switches things up on you in, yeah. in a few ways. I, I, I'm very hesitant to spoil it because I really think people we should could, see we this could movie. Sw- since we'll say, we'll sh- spare the spoilers. Yeah. And spoil the child. <laughs> so, I mean, before we go into spoilers, I would just say, yeah, definitely go see the movie. Uh, I think it's worth the money. It, you know, it's it's really enjoyable. And, and if you go with, you know, friends or whatever, it's it's a good time. So, I'd definitely recommend it. <laughs> wow. Hi. I guess Hi. that's a pretty big sigh. <laughs> um, it started out really good. I wish it was, the comedy was a lot darker. Yeah, you throughout wanted, it, most you wanted of it, it more darker. I know. mean, honestly, did you hear in the theater how I would laugh like two seconds before the punchline, like one of every you three goddamn jokes? Coming. I could see it was coming yeah. for every time. I thought that I thought it was funny. I laughed. Yeah, because I knew, but I knew it was coming. Mm-hmm. The um, it, it, you, they prepare you before it. Yeah, yeah, and they do have what I usually don't like is there's pauses after. Yeah. Because they know, oh, okay, you're going to laugh now. So you can wait and so we can give you So you don't, you know, miss something else. But it, it worked for me. Miss, it didn't, you know? the, it wasn't like a dramatic pause. If, like, you're a normal no, movie-watching yeah. person, you're not even going to really notice it. Like, I barely even noticed it. Yeah. I watch a lot of films, as you might guess. <laughs> Another thing, the uh, constant, I, I don't know. I just... 
it started out like, all right, yes, nice, satirical, cynical, dark comedy. It's going to be dope. But then it turned into like hmm. The Hangover 2 with sort of oh, man. weird action. But I, the humor was good. Yeah. I'll give it that. It's no Hangover 2. It's just oh, the way it. I felt about it. <laughs> I hate you know? Hangover 2. Me too. In Thailand. Uh, this, um, I was really excited that this was going to be an action comedy. And uh, for me, you know, so many comedies... You know, they play it safe in a lot of ways. And this is kind of hearkening back more to, you know, Taking movies. Taking chances. Yeah, like, you know, you like, you know, Beverly Hills Cop and 48 Hours. And yeah. There was more of a high Absolutely. concept to it. Yeah. You know, there's and there's I an that. actual fucking punchline. There's a yeah. setup, a joke, and a punchline. Yeah, and um, it is well shot, too. It doesn't look like a fucking There sitcom. was one one take, but it, it looked good. But I'm just... It was for something that was totally yeah, unimportant. Mansion, it just was yeah. like, okay, why? All right, it's you can do this. It looks good, but and why are we doing it? There's definitely some hidden cuts there too. Yeah. Throughout, like there, there's no way a crane is completely going across. Yeah, that. it was cutting through stairs yeah. and alleys, fucking. And uh, that 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 part, like, I was really excited. So we'll, we'll go into spoilers. They yeah. they go to that rich mansion, and there's a fucking Fight Club there, which is which is a setup. There, is, as you were saying, there's setup and payoff. I laughed as of, soon as he started stepping oh, yeah, upstairs. I'm, I'm either like can hear eyes it, wide yeah. shut or Fight Club. Yeah, there's it's, only it's in either way, club. it's good. And that is one of my problems with this movie is there's too many references to other movies. Yes, yeah. a couple of them really worked. And then I was like, uh, this there is... There was a Pulp Fiction. I'm not going to tell you what it was, but there was but a Pulp Fiction But that one worked for me, though. Me <laughs> that one was good. I love the Django Unchained. Yeah. <laughs> which tied what, to the what Fight other Club. One, what one bothered you? Uh, the Eyes Wide Shut one. Yeah. Eyes Wide Fight Club. That that one it, didn't really work. Well, it's kind of like they... S do you think the director is this has my mind or something? Because as, as he's walking down the stairs, I'm like, all right, it's either Eyes Wide yeah. Shut or Fight Club. And then he says it like yeah, two these, seconds later. The, the, there were two guys who directed the movie and wrote it. And um, you tell can us, tell. Tell us, who are they? Um, I know one of them, John Francis Daly. He was, um, he was actually, he's an actor and he was on Bones, the TV show, which I watched like five seasons. Which one is of. he? He, uh, he For played one of the. Um, uh, the, the scientists who would, you know, look at all the bones of someone who died. and The bearded one who may be Jewish? No, no. He's the skinny one with the real, black hair? Yeah, the skinny, the real Luca. skinny Jewish I don't guy. watch the show, but... <laughs> yeah, it, it was good for a while, and then it got really shitty, that show. Is, but, I bet it's really sitcom -y. Yeah, it's... It, it And, you know, two long seasons, 24 episodes, but... Mm. Um, yeah. Back to the movie we yeah, saw, <laughs> back to FYI. The movie we saw... Um, I say that a lot, huh, guys? <laughs> One thing, I wonder if you noticed the, the score of the movie. I, Did you notice that? There was a couple times where it took me out. There was one wow, time where really? Jason Bape, they were look. Uh, Jason Bape, I think it was when they were in the mansion looking for something. <laughs> yeah, something. And it sounded Very like special. an 80s... Like uh, fucking that synth, like an '80s computer, like fucking that movie with Matthew Broderick, War Games or something. You know War what games. I mean? Yeah, uh, I actually really loved the score loved of this it? movie because uh, you know, I didn't really notice it except for yeah. that. It just sort of was I, like uh, it's electronic background. score through the whole movie. It reminded yeah. me of like a Cliff Martinez score who, who works on Steven Soderbergh's movies mm -hmm. and, and Nicholas Winding Refn. See, there's the one uh, problem with that is way too many movies are way too full of techno. The last, what's the last movie we saw well, and it was full of fucking techno yeah, songs? Peter Rabbit. I mean, I wouldn't really call it techno, but, you know, it's 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 got that old school synth vibe yeah. to it, which, you know, I really liked. It added to the tension, and that's uh, something I liked is they actually build some suspense in the movie, you know, and, you know, <laughs> these characters are completely unaware of really what's going on for the most part. And so you're kind of seeing them fumble through all yeah. this shit. It reminded and, uh, me of uh, something else. It reminded me of a lot of things. It reminded me of Fincher's The Game. I was going to say that as bit. soon as they went... Yeah, it was kind of cool. Somebody went, the uh, Irish lady and the retarded guy, they went to the office <laughs> and there's like weird yeah. clown masks and like fucking David yeah. Fincher make this set. Yeah, it's... Well, that's the thing, is that it, it, it was well shot. It, it yeah, had a it nice good. color correction. It's trying to look more like a there serious was, film. When the two first meet, McAdams and... Um, Bateman. Bateman. They, uh, they're just a normal shot, like sort of medium. You can see 
them too, and everybody at the little game night part. Or it was at a bar. They're playing trivia night. You can see her friend sitting by himself now. In the beginning, the very yeah, beginning, the yeah. Very they're beginning. in like a karaoke bar, karaoke kind of style bar, yeah. doing a quiz. The, the, That's uh, one of the meet. oddest intros ever. Like it's that about didn't the, work. The it, first five minutes yeah. was a little rough for me. I was, I was like, like okay, uh-oh. so we're yeah. we're getting into a movie about. The most serious <laughs> trivia and game, or game yeah, they're, orders ever. They're like hardcore into trivia. Like they are very sore losers. They do not want to lose. And um, that's how they meet. Oh yeah, when they meet. <laughs> back to the shot I was describing. Right. When they meet. Starts out medium. Then all of a sudden um, they, they're they arguing about something. Or they're like giving the answer. Answering at the same time. Answering at yeah. the same time. And you know they get the standard movie cliche. Okay, we're going to fuck now face. Right. But it. Yeah. As soon as that happens, yeah, it cuts bummed. right to fucking zoom in on Bateman. It cuts yeah. right to zoom in on McAdams. I really like that. Yeah, it's very jarring. It, almost those like uh, Sergio Leone like super zooms to yeah. the eyes, you know, which I liked the shots. It you helps. Know, the, it the really fucking draws, you, draws me in really yeah. hard. Really and that's, grabs focus. Right after that, that's when the movie really picks up. Uh, and it just, it's full bore pretty much right after that. That's when it does get better. It's, but it's, it does it does dip down for me. Yeah. Honestly. Well, yeah. well what did you think about the neighbor? <laughs> Jesse I loved Plattis. the neighbor. He was the best part. For Gary me. and his dog, um, oh, what was his dog's name? I don't forget. Precious, <laughs> not Bastion. Bastion, Bastion. yeah. Bastion. Was it a girl? Was he, at first, <laughs> no, the, <laughs> when he first showed up, he's standing next to a post. A, he's uh, mailbox. mailbox. He's holding this yeah. super tiny dog. I'm like, is this dude <laughs> supposed to be a midget or something? <laughs> right, no. Yeah, because they're they're on a higher driveway and he's lower. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Um, he's. But just... I thought they were doing that on purpose to make him a midget. <laughs> right. Their uh, their neighbor is a cop, and uh, he's just gone through a divorce, and he's just the creepiest fucking guy. Jesse Plemons, the dude yeah, who he, was on Breaking um, Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah, he, he was, was uh, on Breaking Bad. Uh, Fargo. He was on Fargo. He was on Fargo. Awesome. The second the season, butcher. I think. Yeah second season he was the butcher and i'm trying he, to remember his name from breaking bad but never mind yeah, continue he, he's um he just has this really dry like monotone <laughs> very like awkward Asperger style yeah and he's fucking hard. hilarious yes he's so fucking good there this. wasn't like he's Sean unbelievable from i Tanya. exactly that's exactly what i was saying. every time he was on screen my my <laughs> eyes lit up <laughs> you could have like yeah him and his dog that dog really also steals so many scenes. There's they should have said his, her name, his or her name more. Bastion. Yeah, I actually wanted to see more of the dog. I was like, oh, Do you think man. that was a reference to Never Ending Story? Bastion? I don't know. It was a white dog. Yeah, I don't know. The, there oh, was never a, mind. The kid's <laughs> name was Bastion. Yeah, Falcor right, yeah. was the name there's, of the I mean, there's a lot of film references. I, I don't doubt it. This is... Uh, see, that's what I thought it was yeah. going to be. Because I think there was one at the very beginning. I'm like, ah, oh, it's going to be goddamn Seth MacFarlane movie, man. Yeah, but it, but it isn't. No, you know, I mean, no, no, they, no. There's jokes. They don't overstay their welcome. And uh, there's, there's actually a lot of side plots kind of going on with the different characters. Yeah, but they don't, they don't try to dramatize it too much. They kept no. it pretty light. Yeah, I mean, the only side plot that didn't work for me, it worked at the beginning, but the payoff for it didn't work, is uh, Jay Farrow and his uh, wife. Yeah. Um, well, they, <laughs> at, at first, they're like, I'm gonna like, all right, they're just going to keep this joke going. Then they, right, had, the a, whole movie, they yeah. had an actual punchline for it, and I'm like, all right, they're going to move on. Right, But they yeah. kept it going. Yeah, basically. I was really confused. Yeah. Spo- all right, and uh, I won't ruin the joke. I mean, she... I thought they were going to go a different direction with who she I was confused as to whether with. or not it was supposed yeah. to be him or they just couldn't afford to get him. Yeah, well, that, that, that's the thing is, yeah, we'll, we'll just say it, you know. They should have fucking flipped it around, man. Yeah, I uh, basically, um, she's uh, she had sex with some celebrity and... Um, it's a big surprise to her husband because they've been together since, since they, they were, were 14. like 14. Yeah. yeah, and they had a break before they got married. And he got a hand job. <laughs> he, got a, he got a dry hand job, as he says. And um, basically, you're wondering throughout the whole movie, who is this celebrity that she fucked? He's, you know, yeah. he's saying Tommy Lee Jones, which that, that really that worked was for good. me. That one Tommy was Lee funny. Jones, Billy Bob Thornton, that one was really funny too. And he brings up Denzel. Then they just sort nice of stopped laugh. at Denzel. They never really. Yeah. And then she basically says, oh, yeah, I actually did fuck Denzel. And yeah. they do this montage. 
And that didn't work for me because I thought it would have been way funnier if it was like Danny DeVito. Yeah. <laughs> and you just got because the Danny DeVito the like she's ashamed is, of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? The thing is she though fucked this guy. They, they show that was a mistake. They show the montage before like they get to the actual brunt of the joke, yeah. the punchline as the professionals call mm-hmm. it. Right. And they're showing the guy and I'm like, is it supposed to really be Denzel right, yeah. or is it they just couldn't afford Denzel, no, so they got a look-alike, yeah, a then, bad look-alike. Right, and then Jay Farrell looks at the photo, and he's like, nah, that ain't Denzel, honey. I'm like, yeah, that's that's what <laughs> like, I was no asking shit. 20 he's seconds like, ago. Like, look at that nose, man. You know, and, and I thought that was a missed opportunity. I yeah. think they could have got, you know, <laughs> you know, an older I didn't see that, I didn't see that one, Danny like, DeVito or something. That's pretty good. Like, yeah, Danny DeVito or fucking... Well, she says, <laughs> she's kind I of I thought they were going to go, at first, I thought they were going to go lesbian. Like, she oh, got with a yeah. girl for a second, right before she revealed it. I don't think that would have been funny. I though. think I was just hoping for yeah, it. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, she, was pretty, little... she was a pretty sexy young lady. Yeah, I mean, all the women are even hot. I actually thought the older Irish chick was pretty hot, too. I, I kept confusing her with the girl from American Horror Story, the first season in, like, Nashville or Tennessee, no. some I, country show. I don't think I've ever seen her No, before. me neither. Yeah. I don't she think was good, her. too. Yeah, I liked her nice. sassy humor, and... Uh, <laughs> the uh, the guy who was with her, I actually just saw him in a movie called yeah, what Ingrid Goes in? West. I saw him in. I want to uh, see that. He uh, he was good in that, and he's really good in this. He he plays this idiot that's just complete fucking moron. Speaking that's of, we're talking point. about Parks and Rec during the previews. He's a very yeah. very good facsimile for Chris Pratt, but Chris yeah. Pratt pulls it off way better. Yeah, I mean, I did think he was charming in the movie. Yeah, he was like, good. I you, liked him. You like him, but he's, he's got he's the idiot of the yeah. group. He's he's kind of you the know the fucking dim witted lack wit. Right. Yeah. He's the, he's he's good comic relief, and uh, <laughs> I I enjoyed him a lot, and um, it's uh, you know it, it, it was good. I I really liked it. Yeah. So um, I mean, I didn't yeah. hate it. Mm-hmm. It was a, it was good. I didn't. It was. I would say right now it, I, on the scale, it's an okay to good. Wow. Um, I thought. It, I mean, this is like the third movie in a row that you would that we've seen. That's. I feel like we rocked the fight. Oh. It's because it was. It's way better than the last. I feel like it was. It's funnier than I Tanya. It's oh, definitely absolutely. leagues funnier than fucking. I thought it was way funnier Peter than Rabbit. I Tanya. I mean, I I really liked the jokes. Um, yeah. It's 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 just the kind of comedy that I'm into. I want to see, you like know, said, though, like Pineapple Express or something like that, where they're they're trying to do something. Yeah. There's there's action. There's you know, it's it's not just this boring. Everyone's just sitting in one room for the whole fucking. Do you like movie. Pineapple Express? Yeah, I think Pineapple Express is pretty good. I've man. seen it like twice. Nothing. Really? Nothing. Nothing. Doesn't, Doesn't do, do it for me. you. That's another movie with great practical effects. People just get their fingers fucking blown off. <laughs> I love Danny McBride in that movie, but he was good. <laughs> But um, that's it's so it's it's <laughs> it uh, it harkens back to kind of that that older style of comedy that I think I do I definitely do prefer from. that that they actually had jokes that's oh yeah that's there's definitely, real jokes it's not non that definitely pushes it from okay to good now that I yeah. think about it because oh, yeah. I've seen many bad to okay comedies yeah, that I'd say are okay and yeah. they didn't even have jokes in them. Mm-hmm. And you were saying how sometimes you can see what they're going to do. Well, like, I'd yeah. say at least a third of the jokes in this movie, I could see exact... I could... They set it up. I could see it coming. I would laugh, and this theater would be silent, and then ten yeah. seconds... Two seconds later, everyone's laughing and shit. Yeah. That, that was something that I did notice, that I was laughing, and you were laughing, and there was a few people not laughing. I feel like maybe some yeah. people were... Uh, they well, were kind of scared to laugh, like I think I at the in, beginning. Yeah, I, I was came like, this in. This is fun. Come I on. came in thinking it was going to be like a, um, yeah. just a straight up dark comedy. I thought it'd be a lot darker. No, it is. It, I mean, it is dark, but it's it's yeah. not to the point where it's not as dark as Hangover Two. No, well, that movie is. It's just obnoxious. Yeah, it's obscenely it's, bad. And it's, I mean, it reaches such ridiculous levels of. You know, and it's mean spirited. Those movies yeah. are just mean. Uh, this is it's you know more lighthearted and fun, and, and you can go along with the movie. Yeah. Um, but uh, w- w- what were the problems that you had? I, I, I said I my problems, but the um, actors. I liked all the actors. I mean, I liked the jokes. I liked that there were jokes. Mm-hmm. The action. 
didn't really do it for me. Wow. It just felt... I, I mean, the, the practical effects, I just... I, I know, just I, I admired it. the practical effects and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and like just... the bit where fucking Jason Bateman... Sh you were laughing when he when she shot yeah. him in the arm. You were Yeah, I told that. him, like I said, at the beginning. Yeah. At the beginning, I definitely was... <laughs> that scene in the bar was yeah. fucking great. When that was he's the best like, part. All right, let's test this guy. Let's see if he can make that. What was the drink? <laughs> he was Harvey like, Wall Wallbanger. Harvey Wallbanger. I've never this seen fucking it. Fucking tatted old biker bartender. That he made me great. think at the be <laughs> at one of the bars. I think in the beginning they had a tecate. I've ever yeah. never actually seen one in person. <laughs> yeah, um, that that was a, <laughs> a great. It was great really good. Scene. And uh, <laughs> when she's trying to pull the bullet out of Jason Bateman's In the arm. annals of history, <laughs> let it be said that Rudy Land said that that scene was easily the best scene in the movie. Altogether. Oh, man. I, nah. I, there was one scene that, I, you know, you were saying how you can see some of the jokes coming. Yeah. There's a scene where Jason Bateman is, is at the neighbor's house. And he's got to get, uh, he's got to get some information on a criminal. And his arm's bleeding from the gunshot. See, okay. And I knew right away, that yeah. blood is hitting that fucking dog. It's well, getting all over. Do you want to know how I knew that so hard, yeah. far ahead of time? Right. They play commercials for uh, for this movie for the last, like, month and a half or two months really? on YouTube. Wow. You've not seen any? No. I, I usually skip them. them. Like, I don't watch them, yeah. but they, like, start... I, yeah. They show the they scene with the blood dripping on the dog. See, I, I knew nothing. Like, I didn't... Like, nothing was Why am I the only me? one who's seen these, this preview? I, for, like, a month yeah. and a half, they've been showing this movie. That's why I kind of got pumped up. I'm like, yeah. all right, maybe they know it's good, so they're trying to build up extra <laughs> buzz or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, that scene just really worked for me when he's scrubbing this fucking dog, and the blood's just getting I worse. Knew I knew what... I... Was, I but you, you didn't laugh at that? It was, I, the, it was funny. When was uh, I saw the picture, he had like a, you know the kind of caricatures you get at the fair with the big yes, heads, yeah, shitty drawings? Yeah, the over the top at the fairs, yeah. His, uh, Jesse Plemons' ex-wife. Ex -wife. Yeah, his ex-wife. I guess he still uh, had a had a shine to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, to he, her. Uh, <laughs> he, he was very depressed. Yeah. He, uh, he... The neighbors weren't a big fan of him because he's very creepy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they didn't want him at the party. Um, and, uh... <laughs> he spoke very... Oddly, he spoke incredibly eloquently. Very yes. good diction. <laughs> syntax on point. And, uh... The movie kind of throws you a curveball with him because he's... You know, spoiler alert here. Yeah. You know, he's he's the mastermind of really <laughs> everything. Okay, so just... I'm just double-checking. I jumped when he got shot. He was... You know, he was... was the Bulgarian. Or he set up the Bulgarian or whatever. Or was that was no, that all the, bullshit? the Bulgarian the Bulgarian was Michael C. Hall, Dexter. He's actually the real villain who Okay. All right. See, that's what was confusing right. me at the end because then they showed his plan. I'm like, "Wait, so was he the mastermind of that too?" No, he was just masterminding game yeah. night. Yeah. He knew that He was making a fun actual risque game. Yeah, his brother who was really good in it, Kyle Chandler. He's usually a dramatic actor. He was in uh, Manchester by the Sea recently. And what else was he in? Um, he's on a show on Netflix called Bloodline. He was I've the coach on Friday else. Night Lights, which you, maybe that's what you know him from. Maybe. But he, he's a great actor, and uh, he was funny in it. He's playing, you know, the obnoxious fuckboy brother yeah. who's, you know, that cliche, just giving his always brother shit. Better. Yeah. He's always got to put him down and shit. We all exactly. know how that goes. Yeah. Hey, gang. <laughs> how many times? This That's the new drinking game. Every time I say, hey, gang, or FYI, <laughs> I'll think of another word for the third person. If you could think of one, send it to me. <laughs> Gotta give out P.O. Box. box. <laughs> yeah. Whatever I said earlier. Yeah, but um, uh, uh, it reminded me of, you know, a lot of action movies. Even, like, towards the end, like Die what Hard 2. Movie? Die Hard 2? Yeah, the with, plane with the stuff. plane at the end. Yeah, yeah I get, I get And that, that, that does bring me back to a reference. They they bring up Taken 3, and I was like, why the fuck are you? That yeah, they brought it up was, multiple times, yeah. too. They're like, the, the Liam Neeson theme. You're not Liam did Neeson. You see, that didn't did you see me. it, Taken 3? Yes, I actually fell asleep. Was there a scene just asleep. like that or something? Uh, I actually fell asleep for, I don't even know how long. In so a, there could in be. In a budget theater. He couldn't my tell dad, you. Yeah. So I actually never knew that that sex scene was CG. Ed Norton. I liked the... He's great in that, yeah. I like. There's a joke in here about Ed yeah. Norton. That's what I was just segueing to, my friend. I was trying to remember. It was the Hulk. They were playing charades. Yeah, the Hulk joke was good. And they were like, "All right, movie. Okay, movie. Doing the charade. Okay, Hulk. All right, who played the Hulk? Um, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. 
Eric no. Bana. <laughs> Eric Bana. No. Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Primal Fear? <laughs> Wait, Richard Gere never played. <laughs> that, just, was, that was yeah. good. I like that one. That was funny because we had just like just been talking about Primal Fear like a few yeah. days ago. It's good. <laughs> Primal Fear is good for yeah, anyone so out that, there. Yeah, so there were... A, you know, there, were, there was a lot of movie jokes, so... One more just quick joke, because I'm remembering it now. Right after he gets shot, I think he's... Wait, maybe not right after he gets shot, but so, at some point, he yells, BLOOD! Oh, and just yeah. the face he That's makes like... is priceless. Jason yes. Bateman, it was a <laughs> Never have I been moved by an actor's <laughs> face so, so heavily. Yeah, and uh, the henchmen there, they, they were fucking great. That uh, kidnap his brother in the in the bar. <laughs> Those guys. Yes. She tries to make him do yoga. Yes. He's got the gun. She's like, "All right, bitch, you bald fucker." <laughs> so here, sing into the mic. Talk into the mic. <laughs> that was just fucking. That great. was the. I told you that was, in my opinion, that was a really solid scene. Everything yeah. between them and the bar, because it's the classic. Um, you know, you know that it's real, but they don't right. know it's real yet. Like uh, it reminded me of a Bill Murray movie called The Man Who Knew Too Little. Where he, uh, everyone thinks he's a secret agent. Yeah? Um, when did that come out? Oh, it was a long time ago. Like the 80s? Yeah. No, no. The ni- I think it was the early 90s. Early 90s? I think it's it really underrated. I haven't okay. seen it in years, but I, I used to love watching that movie. It was so funny. Is um, it like, is there any relation to the man who knew too much behind the name? No, I don't think so. Right. I really That's don't good. think there's any Hitchcock. Who directed uh, it? Who made it? No idea. It's, it's actually watching this movie. I was like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta check that movie out again. I honestly, I've never even heard of it. I yeah, don't that's like... the thing. There's a lot of those movies. Yeah, that, you just you know, like, wait. That movie came out. That, that happened. Was sadly, what's that? gonna happen to I Tanya and Peter Rabbit? <laughs> right. Not sadly yeah. to Peter Rabbit. Yeah. The whole time I was watching this, I was like, wow, finally a good movie. This movie had <laughs> a lot of people in it, but this was the um... Thursday night preview. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday night premiere. I, I actually think this thing. movie's gonna do well. I think there's gonna be good word about well, it. Well. I, you say that I think so. I thought it would. I think it should do well, but you never know with movies, man. Like this, yeah. it was preview night. There was, I'd say, a good twenty, twenty-five people. Yeah, at least twenty, yeah. twenty-five people. Um, you never know. Next week there could be fucking two people on Friday or Thursday night. Yeah, you know, it could have a nice opening and then just completely collapse. It's all it, this movie's going to completely depend on word. Of See, mouth. that's what happens if you're not a blockbuster. If you're a blockbuster, you're yeah. at least going to make. 20, 30 the first week, another 10, 20 the next week, another 10, 15 the next week. If you're like one of these sort of... Yeah, you got to open to at least 35, 40 to help you out. It's going to lose a lot of steam. Yeah. I don't know if this is true, but I feel like a lot of movies, they, unless you're the Avengers or Jurassic World or something, you like at least got to be halved what your box office is yeah. the next week. It's, it's weird because... Um... The highest grossing movie of all time, Avatar, only opened to like seventy eight million in its first week. That was a big word of mouth movie. Yeah. Everybody was fucking talking uh, about yeah, it. Yeah, it just had such staying power and it just didn't drop. Yeah. Whereas like, you know, these Marvel movies, like they'll open to, you know, a hundred you know, hundred and fifty million. And plus China loves American movies now, I guess. Oh, well, they didn't love The Last Jedi. It totally flopped there. Yeah. They I'm surprised they can play it there. Do you know Jedi, Sorcery? Yeah, they, um, well, I guess they changed, they're changing the titles of the Star Wars movies over there now to try to trick the Chinese. So Um, they'll they'll say Ninja ninja or something? Yeah, they'll be like, yeah, Ninja, Crazy, Fun Time. (laughs) Those wacky, wacky Chinese. Those crazy kooks. Whoops, did you think I was going to say something else there? You're the racist. So back to game night. (laughs) We love awkward segues. You bet your ass. On, uh, so on the Rudy Land scale, <laughs> one to ten. I mean, where are you falling on this one? It looked great. The actors were great. Um, it was good jokes. I could telegraph them though. At virtually, I don't know, four thirty, forty percent of the time, I saw them a mile away. They were still right. funny. But you still laughed at them. Man. Yeah, they were still funny. So, do you think this movie has any rewatch? Rewatch Man. potential, or do you think it's just not going to I feel like it's a lot watches? better in a room where you can talk. I feel like it'd be a lot better as a rental. Mm. With a gang. Mm. Hey, gang, watch this movie hey, with gang. me. <laughs> FYI, you should be pretty drunk by now. I'd say, I'd say it's about... 
A six. Six? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was good. It's all right. So a notch above Itonia for you. you had, what, you gave Itonia a five? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I go seven on it because I gave Itonia a six.